It seems like you're breaking the wood. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Oh my god. Oh, no, this is gonna, oh, no, 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 I don't like it. We love this house. However, our master bedroom retreat doesn't feel that master bedroomy, and uh, we're trying to like make it feel more like a master bedroom. So this like area of our master bedroom we've been utilizing as a closet because there's only like one tiny little closet and it's deep and you can't access it. It's back there, and it's just it, it doesn't function at all. And eventually we are going to bust out that wall and that's gonna become part of our bathroom. So we're just not even utilizing it. So we are changing things up. Carl doesn't even get ready down here. He gets ready upstairs at our like gym area. So like that's his closet up there. Basically, I just need to work, make this work for me. And we had it kind of divided off uh, right here with the bedroom, but then it really closed off the bedroom. This room isn't that big. We're, we're making this over. I know it's a little bit too much for sure. So cold, but we're always coming back for more. It goes in this wicked game, it's all for sure. Oh, I've got you. It would be good, I want it to Here's my dilemma. I just got this from Facebook Marketplace. It's an antique, which is what I was excited about. However, I think I kind of got a lemon because I should have also paid attention to the measurements, but this is a bit shorter than I was wanting. I love this little oval mirror right here, and I was hoping that I'd be able to see my whole body in it because we don't have a full length mirror in this room. But as you can see, um, I can see right about my boobs down. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is I, I already knew that I wanted to repaint this. So I was expecting to paint this. Um, and number two is I was hoping to use this to store shoes. I put these in here. I thought that this would open. I, when I saw the picture, I just assumed that this was a door that opened. I also thought that that side probably opened. That's again, my bad. I should have asked but I didn't. This is part of the journey with buying on Facebook Marketplace. You make mistakes sometimes. So we're gonna try and fix this, see if we can fix it. Carlos isn't Mr. Handyman, nor am I, but we have ideas. And so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and put different legs on this to raise it taller and hopefully I'll be able to see myself. And then Carlos is going to try and like open this and add hinges to the side that way this can open and I can at least utilize this whole side of the armoire over there because as you can see to be able to store shoes in here I'm not really sure how else I would want to I already had these shoe holders so I thought well that's I'll just stick those right in the armoire that's not really working so we're gonna give it a shot can we make this work or is this just going to be a fail we'll see Sir, mm -hmm. how do you feel about your handyman skills? I have 72% assurance in them. Um, I know that, that what I'm going to do here will either ruin it oh. or make it better. So we either are going to be throwing $100 down the drain because if you ruin it, then we can't even mm -hmm. resell it. Mm -hmm. I have faith. I have faith in myself. I have faith that I will... Put this on a hinge, it will open up, it will have access to the shoes like you want. This will still shut. This is important for it to shut. I'm gonna replace those. Replace what? The uh, legs. Yeah, the legs. We need the legs. Yeah. You're doing a lot of hummings. Well, yeah, because, like I said, um, I'm a 
mess this up, I mess it up. Mm -hmm. What are you about to do? Now, I'm going to see if this part yeah. comes off of this, whatever, however it's attached. I'm hoping. You would think it would. Yeah, I'm hoping it's glue because I don't see any nails or, or screws or anything. If it comes off as like a piece, all four, mm -hmm. then we just got to go buy a hinge. For right, it. right. That would be good. Then you just open it up. Right. So, because I was gonna like, okay, well, I'll do the feet, but I, I'm pretty sure I can figure out the feet. This is, I think, a bigger deal. So, I mean, we're about to find out if we're about to lose $110. Oh. Alright. Oh, God, I'm so nervous. <gasps> oh, my God. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's reevaluate. <laughs> like, it doesn't seem like it's even. It seems like you're breaking the wood. No, 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 stop, stop. It's gonna sound like it. Oh my God. Oh, no, this is gonna, ah, oh, no, 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 I don't like it. <laughs> I, it sounds like you're like, oh, I don't think that wood's gonna make it. It's old. God, I don't like those noises. You think it's just glued on there? I do. Well, yeah, I guess all the side. <gasps> what happened? Oh, no. <laughs> if a bunch of bugs start pouring out of the. What? Bugs? Oof. You're gonna paint it anyway. Oof. This has got to come up, so. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, no part of it. It's actually going to be mostly up here. That's where the biggest part is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so it's nailed there. So what does that mean if it's nailed there? Nothing, it's just nailed here, so we're gonna open it up more here so when it when it opens, it doesn't open too much on the top and crack it. Yeah, let's not crack it. Check out a right here. Oh, God, don't break this one. Ah! Ah! Oh, my gosh. This is making me... Oh! We did it. Fit. Step one done. Yeah. Wow. 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 Yeah. All right. <gasps> oh, that was it. God. Okay. Here we go. Thanks, babe. You know what? Ten years ago, you would never even have attempted that. No way, I wouldn't have attempted that. Look how far we've come. Next attempt, we have these big old legs. I think these could look really fun on there and obviously add a good amount of height. They are actually from this ottoman and I've been wanting to put smaller legs on this so that it was a little bit lower. So we're going to try and repurpose and use these on there and then we'll put smaller legs on the ottoman. All right, how you feeling? 
It looks like these are glued, right? Yeah, well, there's a nail. There is a nail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we'll see. All right, here we go. Now, this bottom wood, it's old wood. Yeah, it's definitely antique. Yeah, I really don't want you to break the bottom either. Lefty Lucy. No, it's not a screw. It's new. Oh. We have officially changed her legs. It's not perfect. However, I'm going to be painting this whole piece. So I'm going to paint the armoire the same color as the legs. So it's going to kind of blend together. So what I'm trying to determine is what color I'm going to do all white. But I was also thinking maybe all black. I don't know. What are your thoughts? White or black? I really love it though. She's very pretty. We are in the second phase of redoing the closet area. Oh, we have lawn people here. This has worked for us temporarily, but I need a change. Every time I sit here and I do my makeup behind me, I'm just looking at a bunch of clothes and it kind of drives me crazy. So my idea is to <laughs> get a vacuum. We're gonna put curtain rods on the wall. Thank you, lawn guys. I'm going out my mind. Give me some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we ain't got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. Yeah, I'm going out of my mind, out of my mind, out of my mind. Yeah, for you, my love. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm going to have a rod right here. I'm gonna have curtains hanging in front of this rod. And then we're gonna have the actual curtain rods, not not curtain rods, clothes rods back here. So I'm just creating a little makeshift closet. How do you feel about this, Carlos? Good. 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 This is going to be much more visually appealing. It's gonna make the room feel larger because we're not gonna close it off. And it's going to make me happier when I'm sitting here doing my makeup that I'm not staring at a bunch of like clothes. And then the next thing will be making these built-ins look pretty. One step at a time, we're going to put the curtain rod that was dividing off the room Back there, I'm gonna put the curtain rod across there, add curtains behind there, 
to add some height to the room and just make it more luxurious looking. And then obviously this lovely, lovely light is going to be changed out. We're going to actually put a ceiling fan, like a chandelier, because we need, it's hot. It's hot in Florida and we like to have a fan blowing on us. So that will be happening soon too. Okay. So, so what ha wait, so you're gonna keep so we realized that Carlos accidentally grabbed one big bracket uh -huh. and the other ones are all smaller. Which I think makes me look smart because it looks like the center bracket is bigger, more sturdy. But I just grabbed But you're so you're gonna keep that one there? Yeah. Or no? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna do it like that. We'll see how it looks. It took me a while to decide what I wanted to do with this whole little area because I knew we needed to use it as a closet, but sometimes you have to live in a space for a while before you decide and can figure out exactly what will work best for you. What? What? Oh my god! Oh, at what point did you pull your pants down that it messed up my whole thing that I was saying? <laughs> Anyways, so what I was saying was I'm glad I lived in the space for a good amount of time and kind of figured out exactly what I thought would work best for this space. Oh, don't sit in it. Oh. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I got poop in my diaper, but I can still stop her saying hey. Oh my god, it's- Okay, we've got this up. It looks a little uneven, but that's also because we're a hundred year old home. It slopes just a little bit, so it's a little bit, a little bit uneven, but hey, I'll take it. And now we're putting in the second bar underneath here. And I wanted it high, as high as we could bring it up so that we have just a little bit of floor space that we can put some, you know, baskets of some things. So we're going to do the curtain rod over all the way to the ceiling to add height. And then it's going to stop right about here. The bed needs to stay even with this. So then we're gonna add like a plant or do something in this corner to give the because if we do it all the way across and have it going out around, then the bed will look like it's off center. Oh, you see what okay, I'm saying? Yeah, so it just goes to the window. It just goes a little bit to the outside of that window. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do something in that corner. We're making some progress on this room. I definitely want to get a different curtain rod. I don't necessarily want it to be black but I don't know what color I want right now, so we're just using this because we already have it. Still have to decide what ceiling fan I want to pick here. It's been such a hard decision for me to make, but it's already feeling better. And I'm working on kind of reorganizing this area right now and just like moving things around. I'm get a magnet for this and figure out what color I want to paint this. I still don't know if I want to paint this white and just freshen up the white or if I want to paint it black, or if I want to paint it like a color. I don't know. It's another day, and I realize I have not showed what the closet looks like now, the makeshift closet. I think eventually, thank you, eventually it would be, <laughs> see that, the, um, the rod is crooked. The rod is crooked, it's one of those. No, but this, yeah, that's just a tension rod. I think eventually I would like to maybe do some kind of door here or something. No, not like that. Like a, I don't know. I don't know. But for now, <laughs> thank you. For now, this curtain works. I might actually change it for a different curtain. Maybe something a little more like velvet. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it totally works. Obviously, my closet's not very organized right now. Um, I'm gonna color coordinate at some point, but you know, that's life. We'll get there one day. I unfortunately- we're a Peloton family. Yeah, we're a Peloton family. This is a very cute outfit. Over. Okay, I never wore it. I got it from Walmart. 
It would look so cute on you. <laughs> Don't know about the future. <laughs> That's anybody's guess. Oh my god, okay. Somebody leave in the comments what theme song that is. Oh my god. Oh, pack up your pen and paper. I'll give you a piece. Okay, my Magnolia's gonna be home soon. But my I know it. The sun is gonna surely... And the character would have worn an outfit like this. Would she have? Anyways, yeah. I have to keep some of Carlos's shoes in here, unfortunately, uh, because uh, he doesn't... Yeah. He leave his shoes in here. His room. And then, Animal. and then I want to do like some I have matching. Too many shoes, Megan says. He has shoes in every room in this house. It's annoying, but I love shoes. it is what it is. I have to get some matching bins for under there. That's bothering me a little bit, but again, so much better than what it was. Yes. Way better. This whole room is so much better than what it was. Now this armoire. We're basically still where we left off. However, Carlos got a magnet so that- no, we're not where we left off. I don't think they saw the door, right? Yeah. They didn't? Yeah, yeah, we saw okay, the door. Where we left off. Actually, we're a little worse. Because the legs are a little messed up. They've been falling <laughs> over, they almost cracked, so we're a little worse. <laughs> yeah. where we, left off. We, we have to reinforce these legs better. Oh, yeah. So, and we still have to- As you can see here, in this <laughs> section, if you want to show, no. it's not very balanced. <laughs> I would not say if I had a little doggy, would I allow the doggy to sleep under there? Yeah, we got a, some work to do. Um, what I did end up doing though, I don't think I shared. Oh! Yeah. I put some. Now I still like this. The whole thing. I'm going to like clean this whole thing. You know, listen. Yeah, it's gonna look. So different. It's gonna look. It's gonna look so much better at some point. Um, but I did realize, oh, these bars are kind of useful to like put my heels on. So I don't know, like, mm, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. However, what I do want to do is be able to at least shut this all the way, fix the legs, and get this anchored to the back of the wall. We want to get it anchored to the back of the wall just because, you know, it's this room is oh, a yeah. little like wonky just to be extra safe since we have magnolia okay so we're feeling good making progress in this room this whole area we're gonna do another day because we have to get the middle bracket up for this curtain rod i did get some other curtains again off of facebook marketplace because if you haven't realized yet um i don't like to pay full price for things and if i can't get it on facebook marketplace i usually wait and see if eventually i can and um i did so the curtain color is we do it because of the environment, not because we're cheap. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> um, the curtain color is a little, little bit off, but I think it's going to be fine. And it's a shorter length than I need, but it, this is going to actually go behind the bed. So you won't see the length, which is perfect. And I got two of these heavy duty curtains. It was 20 bucks total, so great deal. So Magnolia, we have like 15 minutes until Magnolia is going to be home. So we have to move this mattress and put up the curtain rod in the middle. So last things I have to figure out with this room. I mean, there's a lot of things. I still would like to get an area rug at some point, but I have to determine what color I want to paint this room. This is the color that it was when we moved in. I don't love it. I don't hate it. On camera, it comes off a little bit more limey than it is in person. Um, and I know like green's really in, on trend right now, like all the different colors of green. And I love like dark em emerald green like I did in my kitchen. This room and my dining room is also a version of green that's not quite the same as this. But I just feel like I want this room to be something different. I can't decide if I wanna just do like white, but I'm like, oh, that's so boring. Or I want to do, I thought about possibly doing black, but then I was like, eh, I don't know. Uh, but there was a lot of white in here and a lot of light, so I think that black could possibly work. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you have a paint suggestion for this room. I'll take it. Let me know. This room's feeling so much better, and that's all I can ask for. Progress.
that disappeared and I was like, man, I can't believe we can't find it. Also, this is a bed bumper that we got because Magnolia does bed share with us a lot. And um, we wanted a bumper to keep her from being able to like just roll off, you know? So this one was the first one that I got and it's like you blow it up. It worked okay for a little bit and it has like a felt thing so it doesn't slide but I would not recommend it. I ended up finding a different one that is more like a pillow. This one's like a pillow kind of feel and it's got like grippy under here and grippy here so it kind of grips to the sheet. I put it like under our fitted sheet. This thing is so great. If you have a little kid or you have grandchildren or anything that like that that you know you need to put in a bed and you're a little bit worried about them rolling off in the middle of the night these have been really great i've literally watched it stop her multiple times as she because she like rolls a lot that's why we got her a floor bed in her room um these things are really great amazon i'll link it below because that's that's what people say they'll link it mm -hmm. as i was editing the beginning part of this video i realized it doesn't look like i'm doing a whole lot <laughs> <laughs> but I am. He couldn't do it without me. I wouldn't do any of this without her. Exactly. I so that motivates me to do it, and I, and I wouldn't do it. So that's why we make a good team, okay? I, I'm doing the things. I'm just not doing the things. And I'm your biggest cheerleader. Go, Carlos. Yeah. Is that good enough? No. Nope. It needs to be lifted higher. Like, yeah, right above. Uh, can you just? Does it matter if it sits like that? Does it matter if it sits like what? It's not sitting all the way in there. Well, I don't know. Once you have the weight of the curtains. Oh, it would still hold it, but I think. But listen, you need to put it completely center. You see that shell at the top of our headboard? Oh, yeah. That needs to be, it needs to be completely centered with that or else it will drive me crazy. Little fun fact, we also got this headboard from Facebook Marketplace. I found this headboard new. I think it's on like Wayfair or something. It's like $5,000. And I think we got this for like $375. Yep. Yeah, somebody was murdered using this bed frame and so there's blood splatter on it. But it's a deal. No, no. It's a beautiful head frame, I love it. a headboard. It has so much drama and wow to it. And what a steal of a deal we got. I love Facebook Marketplace. Or any thrifting, you know, uh. used secondhand furniture. That's my jam. <laughs> so much progress has been made today. The last thing that we are going to do is try and put on this magnet for the armoire and then I'm calling it a quits for now no. on the bedroom. Thank you. You wanna do in the hug? Yeah. Yeah, you wanna get in the hug? hug. Family hug. <laughs> oh, huh. <hug. laughs> oh. No, just you and Sissy? Hug? Just you and Sissy? Or you want me too? No. Oh, okay. Hug? Okay, just you and Sissy? Hug? Oh, you want me to hug? No. Oh! Are you playing? Hug? Oh, you want me to hug? No. Oh! Hug? <laughs> hug? 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 No. No. Oh. <laughs> Look at this progress. I mean, what a difference in what it was. How are you doing with uh, this magnet situation? Oh, thank you. Um, a little more difficult than I thought because of the way it sits no, in. Come here. I believe in you. In the process of still looking to figure out what kind of light I can put right here. I ordered a fan. I ordered a fan for in here today. Yay! Finally pulled the trigger. I feel really good about it. It looks more like a chandelier than a fan. Chandelier, like the one you used to have in your room? It's different. It looks <gasps> way more like a chandelier. And I decided it's black. And I'm Ooh. going to incorporate some more black in here, like these pillows. That's still the pillow cover from fall. <laughs> um, but I want to keep this pillow cover but a black version of it. And then I figure I will go ahead and keep the curtain rods black and then let that be tying my black in together. I put the, oh, I didn't even say. I ended up deciding to take the white shears that were right here and we added them in between these two. And so it has the white shears right in front of the window, which I think looks so pretty. 
and then I did bring a little plant over here. I wish it was a little bit taller, but it totally works for now. <laughs> So, okay, I know how a lot of these YouTube videos <laughs> usually end up with a happy story. <laughs> I don't think this one's gonna end up with that. <laughs> we have a situation. <laughs> We're trying to make these legs with very skinny tops <laughs> fit on this old ass armor. I could strap it to the wall. I think it would be fine strapped to the wall because, like, that'll help. And but I think this. Could, let's see here. Look, I'm gonna shake it a little bit. Okay, we do. It has nothing in it. I'm gonna open this. Ugh. Okay. You see how bad those are? <laughs> Can oh. you add another thing into that front leg? What do you think I am? A wood cracker? <laughs> I don't know. I'm so tired of this thing, I wanna burn it in fire. <laughs> Did you get blood on it? What is that? Do I have blood on me? <laughs> Did I get hurt? <laughs> that has not been there. Did I? Am I bleeding? The goat. <laughs> oh God. I will be in the market for a new armoire. Right, I need to strap this here, and this ain't going anywhere. Okay, no. let's let's anchor this to the wall because we got a mess of shoes here, and honestly, I just need a break from this armoire for a little it's while. Not this armoire is not a fail. It's just not my best. Okay, I'm Facebook I don't Marketplace pull this out purchase. anymore. I, ju I just definitely <sighs> want it strapped for now. And then we'll reevaluate it later, okay? I just. Uh, let's live with it for like a week. Okay. Okay. We officially got the armoire anchored to the wall so it's not going anywhere i'll show you so we have it anchored there and on this side this armoire is not moving it's like definitely gonna stay in place which that's the most important thing until i figure out what i'm gonna do long term with this i just wanted it to be safe not fall over and hold my shoes so still so much we're gonna do in phase two of this room changing out the lights painting doing something with this armoire, getting some area rugs. I want to get a new vanity like desk and chair. So many things I still want to do to the room. But I hope you enjoyed following along on this journey of phase one of this bedroom makeover. Feels so much better than it did. Hopefully it gave you some ideas or motivation to just make some tweaks to a space that's not quite working for you. Most of the time, you always feel so much better just making some minor adjustments. You can do it on a budget like I did. And um, yeah, so I think that's it. We'll be decorating for Easter soon. We're also going to try and tackle my bathroom coming up. We're not ready to like do the full gut or anything. Um, that's gonna be a little ways away. But in the meantime, I am going to try and like make it over on a budget. Do some DIY, or not DIY. We're gonna do some like peel and stick wallpaper. I'm going to try. And um, just do some things to it just to make it feel a little bit better in there. Plus I have lots of other places in the house that we are going to be working on doing things like this where it might not be a full on makeover but still making it over where it feels different and fresh. So if you enjoy those kinds of videos make sure to give this one a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. Paint suggestion. What do you think? If you have another site that you love to use for thrifted furniture let me know down below. I've tried a few others but I always go back to Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist but recently Facebook marketplace has been like my go-to but if there is another site that you've had some really good luck with let me know down below I hope you enjoyed the video got some ideas or at least some motivation to tackle a little project that you've been putting off but you really want to so that is all I have for you today thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye